Hey everyone, we're getting set up right now for a string art workshop for anyone who has um, already ordered one ahead of time. If you get one later, you can just follow along after this video is posted. I'm going to do um, one that's kind of been ordered quite a bit recently, which is our little spaceship string art. If you have another one, like um, I think the heart was ordered a lot. Uh, we've got a little dinosaurs out, dinosaur out there as well. Uh, it's a lot more simple than this one, so um, you can just kind of follow the same concept. So make sure you've got everything set up. You've got your instructions right here. It kind of tells you what to do first. You want to take everything out of the kit, set it up, lay it out. Make sure you um, look at your picture for guidance. You should have a picture in your kit to help you. And put on your apron if you've got paint with your um, kit, okay? So we'll get started. All right, so if you got paint for your string art, we're gonna paint first. This little uh, spaceship has a little galaxy in the background, so we're gonna start off with our black. Got the water right here. All right, so you get your black paint, we're just gonna paint around our nails. If you got uh, something else, of course, paint that color, paint whatever color you want for your string art. I like to add just a little bit of water when I'm doing string art with uh, on the wood because it helps spread the paint better on wood. So I'll be adding just a little bit of water to kind of help me. And just start on the outside, work your way in. Thank you. If you order this kit afterwards, or let's say today, um, don't forget that you can just follow this video if you want afterwards, um, if you feel like you get confused a little bit with the instructions that we included. So I'm gonna just paint all around my solid color here, which is my black. Add a little bit of water every now and then. to go in between the nails. Just do it like that. Kind of mess around with your brush. If you have a simple shape, like let's say a heart, it will be easier. Either way, you'll get in there. There we go. Pretty simple, because it's just a solid color that you'll start with. No designs, just make sure you're getting a nice even coat. You don't want to leave big bulks of paint. Then it'll take longer to dry. So just make sure you spread it all out. The spaceship is adorable. It's one of our favorite ones. And then we also have a few others. We'll be adding those today. We've got like a little uh, planet that goes perfect with the spaceship and a star as well. Oh, and that um, galaxy unicorn. That one's so cool. We've got a few people who've ordered that one too. So that one's cool because that one you can do, you do different colors on your background. You can add glitter and all this cool stuff. I can hear Weasley. Weasley. It's because I didn't say hi to him when I walked in. 
I didn't say hi to him when I walked in. Oh, yeah. He just Almost done. If you got a simple shape, you might already be done, which is good because it gives you time to dry your your string art. Um, if you want, if you have a blow dryer, you can use a blow dryer or just kind of wait a little bit. It'll dry pretty quick because the wood absorbs the paint kind of fast. Everyone good? I hope everyone's good at home. Have our backgrounds nicely covered. Once we start adding string, there's no more going back. So make sure, especially the inside of your shape is a good solid color. If you have time or enough paint, totally up to you. You can paint the sides. I like to add even more water when I'm doing the sides so it can really get penetrated in there. There we go. <coughs> this gives it a nice finished look. paint on your hands don't worry acrylic paints comes off really fast with just soap and water There we go. So my spaceship, I think I'm happy with it. Gonna rinse my brush. This particular um, string art, most string arts just have one color. Um, this one in particular has two. Another reason why I'm doing it, just in case anyone got a kit that has more than one background. Um, so this one has more than one. It's got little stars in the background. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This part's pretty cool. You just get your smaller brush. If you got a second brush, if you got a, only one, that's not a problem. You can just use that same one, rinse it off really well. See some dots here. There we go. Always rinse your brush when you're not using it. All right, so I'm gonna get some paint. See my little guy right there, just like this. And we're just gonna flick onto our board, just like that. I don't know if you can see it. And you're gonna do it as many times as you want. Another reason why we give you a tablecloth 
because this part can get messy. You can kind of get a little bit more paint on your brush if you want. So that way when you splatter, you get kind of some thicker little stars right there. Like that. I don't really worry about the inside of my spaceship since that's gonna get all covered anyways with string, so I'm more worried about the outside. Looks like I've got some shooting stars going on down here. Cool. Um, let's see, maybe a little bit here. You can also tap on your brush. I get nice big splats right there. I'm not too happy about this one, so I'm just gonna take it off. I think I'm good. No, I don't like that one. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Come on in. Um, I placed an order yesterday. Okay. I know it said business days, so okay. I'm like, okay, I'm not sure. Um, for the fox and the baby yoga. Yay! Yeah, I think we have those ready. I don't think I put names on them just yet, so. Now, this is not why I'm not actually for my kid. She's only two. Oh! <laughs> so, they're gonna need some help then. But you do have the little aprons with them, so I'm like, I might go like to the dollar store and get her some little regular canvases. Yeah. Like, Here, have fun. <laughs> you could. I don't think I have a painting one, no, that's specifically, specifically for, that. for that one, no. Um, I can probably email you like specific instructions if you need that for, for, those, for those paintings, yeah. Cause we did it for the colorful fish, just in case they're yeah, not. I was watching it yesterday. Yay! We're gonna my teach it. Kept trying to change. I'm like, no, watch your. I don't know, remember what the heck you guys were watching. <laughs> no, watch show. So we're gonna um, we're gonna teach it live. But okay. if you want the instructions, I can send that to you as well. Okay. Okay. So we have the dates already online. Also, um, sometime during the week. So if you want to go online, you can see okay. those dates, and yeah, you sure. can just follow along that day. Do you want your bag back? No, that's yours to keep. Huh? Okay, sure. Wait. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. I've got my little galaxy here. What I did was, um, because I was splattering, I was splattering paint, so I went ahead and dried off some of my nail heads, just so that way it's a little cleaner. Let's see here. I'm gonna wait for it to dry just a bit before I start adding string. I'm afraid to add string because I don't want to get um, white all over. Huh? I don't know if I should blow dry it or my little stars. I don't want them to get it like all smeared with the string. Oh, yeah. You don't want this end up looking like shooting stars? Yeah, I've got a few in there, but I don't want more. So we can take a break right now. You can um, get something to eat, get some snacks if you have that close by. Oh, tomorrow night we're gonna be teaching the Texas flag wood uh, painting. It'll be, we'll pre-assemble that piece. You can order online, um, pick up tomorrow, and we'll be teaching it tomorrow night. I think it's tomorrow night. Um, and that'll be live as well. So that's an adult workshop. I uh, get some drinks, get some snacks, we'll just kind of take our time as we paint the Texas flag on a um, piece of wood. It's a wood palette that we put together for you. I think it's almost dry. Okay. 
I'm gonna start on a little corner just so you know how to get started in case you have like a heart and you just want to start going already so what you'll do is you'll get your little kit here that has the string whatever color you want to start with this one has multiple colors if you have the heart you'll just get your little white uh, string and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a corner to start in and so I've got the red here I'm gonna go ahead and do the little tip of the spaceship so what I like to do is I start to make a knot on the outside before I get started so just kind of turn it around get your knot started but don't close it up and I'm gonna put it on one of the nails here on the edge and close it up if you have a good amount here left over that's good because you can do a double knot double knot is always good if you can't do it just ask mom or dad or any adult that's around you if you're one of the little ones following along right now make a double knot make a triple knot however you want this kind of helps to uh, ensure that it's not gonna fall apart later make sure it's over the nail head and oh. okay so once you have a corner started, what you'll want to do is do the outside of that particular shape. So for example, here, I'm gonna do the tip of the spaceship. So I'm gonna do just right here. So that's why if you have a picture, it's very helpful. You can also find the picture online if you didn't get one um, through the website where you ordered and you'll see a picture there. So I'm gonna do just right here. We start with the outside first, so. I'm going to go around one nail right here, loop it around just like that, go to the next one, loop it around. This is the tip of the spaceship, so I'm going to go this way now, loop it around. In order to make sure that all your string doesn't fall apart as you're putting it together, you can put your finger on the previous nail that you put the string around while you go to the next one. And so that just makes sure that this is not gonna pop out. Okay, so I went one way around. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the other way. And this just kind of gives it a cleaner look for a border. So, go around, go around, just like that. It's nice and closed now. So now we do our little zigzag wherever you want so all we're doing is going back and forth up and down left and right making X's just make sure you are getting all of the nails covered the more you um, go around the nails the more of a solid color you're going to get solid um, piece so Go around as much as you can. Take your time. We give you a lot of string, so don't worry about running out. Let's see, I'm gonna go this way. All right, it's getting pretty full. And then if you want to afterwards, if you have enough, we're totally up to you, you can go around your nails one more time just to give it that last finished look and because this is one of our smaller ones I don't mind doing that oh can I have some scissors please make sure you have some scissors ask your whatever whoever is around you an adult have them cut it please if you don't know how to use the scissors and you're gonna cut a good amount left over because we we want to get a nice good knot on there without having to um, struggle too much so I made sure that I had a good amount left over I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna make the knot again on the outside not around the nail you can do it around the nail but I for me it's just easier to do it out here and then wrap it around so I've got my knot started just like that now I'm gonna put it on the nail and I'm gonna pull. There we go. Bits. 
Hope it's not blurry, guys. I'm sorry if it is. It kind of looks blurry from here. Does it look blurry from there? Or is it just the um, I keep moving it around to show them. That's better. Is it? I don't know. No, it's not. As long as the show's good on my phone, I think we're good, right? Yeah. There we go, the tip is done. So I'm gonna cut off the excess here, just like that. You can kind of tuck it in. And so now I'm gonna start on the next color. Next color here is, I'm going to do, yeah, I'm gonna do the blue here. It's a little light blue, I think it's light blue. Is it light blue or is it gray? It's Gosh light darn blue. it, okay, <laughs> light blue. Very light blue, it looks kind of gray. It does, right? Okay, so it's just not just me. Let's see, I'm gonna start over here now. So, follow the picture. Picture has it go like this. We're not gonna do inside the circle, we're gonna do all of the outside. So, we're gonna do all of this. Kinda helps once you're actually stringing it because it's kinda just like connect the dots. Looking at it just like this, it's probably confusing, but once you get started, it gets a little bit easier to follow. So, I'm gonna start over here. Start your knot on the outside. Get it on your nail. Do a little double knot. There we go. Now I'm ready to get started. So I'm gonna go around one way. your finger on the previous one helps it from not falling apart. You can move around your little kit wherever you need to just so that way it doesn't get stuck on all the rest. Oh, it can work. going to go the other way. If you feel like a nail is a little bit too packed, just kind of push it down and that'll help you. Get that next layer on there. If you did a more a solid color like the heart or the dinosaur, you're probably finishing up right about now. So once you have it all fully covered the way you want, you're you're good, you're done. We're just doing this one again because it is a little bit more difficult, so we just wanna make sure people can follow along well. So I got my border, I'm just gonna fill it in now wherever I want. And I just go one way, go the other way. I'm not going inside the circle, okay? We gotta leave that for the other color. So I'm using the outside of the circle to help do my little zigzags everywhere here. But I'm not going inside. So little ones tend to go inside. They tend to kind of put it everywhere. So just keep an eye out on them if they're doing this part by themselves. Um, just make sure that they're staying on the outside of the, the circle there in the center. And um, sometimes they get a little bit frustrated if the this little guy kind of starts to get stuck. So just kind of help them by moving it out of the way for them. So that way they are just doing the fun part of uh, making all these zigzags. So I kind of did the zigzag thing and now I'm just kind of going side to side just to make sure everything gets covered. There's no wrong way to do this part, which is awesome. 
no particular patter, pattern. It's just a matter of filling in the space. Kind of see it getting a form now, looking like a little rocket. Again, if you want to order this at a later time, you sure can, and then just follow along. We'll save this video in our uh, Facebook page so you can follow along later. And I think once we save it, you can also pause and move it forward and stuff like that, so that way you don't have to worry about. Um, either waiting in between steps or trying to rush in between steps you can just follow follow us at your own pace I feel like this part right here is a little empty let me see there we go gonna push it down so it doesn't pop out Go this way. There we go. And Hope everyone is doing okay in this part. If you have questions, you can post it here. Um, if I can't see it, I know you will see it. I'm sure she can answer. But I have a little tablet here, so I should be able to see anyone who comments if you have a question. I'm just about done in this part. There we go. Now again, I'm just gonna go around because I wanna. I have extra strings, so I'm gonna take advantage and give it another solid border. The border in the beginning, before you start filling it in, kind of helps so you don't get lost. And then the border at the end helps to give it a good, finished, clean look. Take a break whenever you want worry about falling behind you'll be able to pause it later going around the other <coughs> way now Good amount we've got extra don't worry gonna make my knot on the outside finish it on the inside around one of the nails and then I can do my double knot there we go let's cut off the excess some over here too from when I started finish that little guy okay Let's see, inside is blue. So this time I'm not gonna make a border because the border of this little circle here is red. So I'm just going to do the blue on the inside. Start here. Go 
a double knot, zigzag all over the place. to get this little part right here, there we go. That was kind of feeling empty there. Okay, that's well covered. So I'm gonna tie it off. Double knot. Let's cut off the extra here. So this one's got looks like a little the a little glare, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. rest of my string. Oops, I missed my nail. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around one way like this. Go to the next one. Go around like that. I think I could only do two with this particular one because it's so tiny, so I'll just do two. I'm going to do my knot, finish that little part off. these two parts. Oops, keep missing. I'm gonna go on the outside just so it helps me stay where I need to stay inside zigzag let's see let's go this way oh my goodness it's coming together Give it that good clean look. 
some people don't do this part by the way so if you feel like you don't need to go around each snail again at the end don't it's just an extra step for some people good I don't see any questions so hopefully everyone's following along well if you don't want to ask in here just send us a message and we'll I'll make sure to check it as soon as I'm done here Turning it off to finish it Go. I'm gonna do the other side now. Going around and make sure that I don't get lost. zigzag wherever you want let's go for it <laughs> again. This little fire part is yellow on the bottom and then we'll add a little bit of red on top, okay? To make it look like fire. So first I'll start with the yellow. Don't wanna get lost, so I'm gonna go around everything. All of my outside. Oh, see how I did this on going this way. Oh no, we're good. We're good. No, I'm not good. Nope, 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 nope. That's why it's good to make it a border first. This little fire goes over here to here and then goes down just like that. There we go. Now it looks like fire. I 
probably can't see it much. I've got my fingers in the way, I'm sure. But it's the same thing. We're just doing zigzags, everyone. Putting my fingers in the way so the string doesn't pop out. He's almost done, how cute. Okay, I'm gonna finish that off. Give me my double knot here. this however much you want you want to just do a few zigzags you can do that you want to kind of fill it up with the red and just kind of let the yellow show a little bit on the bottom you can do that too always do your knots first so it doesn't fall apart as you're stringing much. I did put a lot of yellow. There we go. I like it just like that. Let's go this way. Yay! Let me do that double knot now. All right, so one more part with the string. There's a red border around right here. So we're gonna add it. Give it that last little part. So we go around one way and then we'll go around the other way. There we go. Let's go this way now. Time came off over here. There we go. Tighten 
that off. Cute. All right, so one last step for this particular one. For anyone who got a kit that includes uh, glitter, we have also included some Mod Podge for you. So get your little, uh, I think we either put it in a little container or in a little baggie. So if it's in a baggie, just cut off the corner of it and put it in your plate. And so you're gonna get some Mod Podge and you're just gonna kind of go around the blue part, okay, of your spaceship. If you have something else, I think the Galaxy Unicorn has it like on the horn, the hooves, the mane, and the tail. But this particular one, the little spaceship, has it right here. So I'm just gonna randomly put Mod Podge just on that blue part. Nowhere else. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just making sure that we get some Mod Podge on our string, just like that. Mod Podge dries clear, so don't feel like, oh, I'm turning it white, or it's gonna look all weird once it dries. It's not. It will dry nice and clear. Going all the way around here. parts that I feel I didn't really get glue on. There you go. Always rinse your brush. Okay. So you would have gotten a little baggie also of glitter. So at that at this point just kind of open it up and you're just gonna sprinkle glitter. You don't have to use the whole amount that we gave you. Of course you can if you really like glitter but once you get some on there, you're good. It's gonna give it a nice shiny look. If you don't want glitter on your spaceship, of course you can skip this part. You don't have to do it. This is where our little handy dandy tablecloth that we gave you comes in use. Perfect time to use it because we're about, we are about to flip over our string art. some glitter I can see already it, it kind of got stuck a little bit here on the outside um, that will eventually fall off but if you want it to stay just get some Mod Podge put it just in certain areas let's see I want some here oh wait no I got the white <laughs> don't get the white get the Mod Podge gosh darn it areas got little bursts of stars now tap it 
off really well. We are done with our spaceship stringer. Yours will come, this one didn't, but yours will come with a picture hanger on the back to, uh, so that way you can just easily hang it up already right now if you want to. Show it off to your friends. Send us a picture if you did one, please. We would really appreciate that so we can show it off. We'd love to see everyone's pieces. Um, if you have any questions, of course, just send us a message, comment on this video, give us a call, shoot us a text, however you want. Uh, we will respond, of course, uh, with whatever it is that you need. So I hope you all like it. It's adorable. This is one of my favorites. Bye, everyone.